Hey everyone, my name's Gunther and thanks for checking the channel out. As you can tell, we have a new style of video, which is really just going to be some commentary over our speed build process and much less uh, focus on what's going on within the zoo. Now, if you want to know more about what's happening within Oasis Zoo, uh, feel free to join our Discord as we know, have a lot more conversation going on over there. Uh, but uh, as you saw in the uh, opening few seconds, uh, we are working on our first African uh, porcupine exhibit. And I'm calling this right now now porcupine hollow now the idea behind it was uh, really wanted to focus on northern uh, African animals and this was something that kind of came up within the discord somebody provided an idea that would be really cool if we had a general um, style of, of zoo and really what that is is we would start with northern African uh, animals and move into Central Africa and then of course end it with uh, South Africa animals and I think that's a really cool idea and that's what we're gonna do now in today's episode with this uh, with this build I really wanted to focus on uh, something a little different and I'm not used to building something with porcupines uh, it, it was very hard to, uh, to kind of identify what I wanted to do and I kind of wanted to keep with that plaster theme and that's what we did uh, so this is really the end the, the end result but we're we're getting a little ahead of ourselves. Uh, some struggles that you're going to notice within this uh, within this uh, speed build really was on the uh, the um, railings. I wanted to make something that wasn't steel or anything like that. I really like the idea of having a rope railing, and you can see that we're kind of putting it together right now. Uh, and that was the goal. But uh, I don't know how it turned out. But so let me know what you think of this overall build. I definitely have a lot a lot of room to improve. But really, the entire idea of this journey was just to to be better at building Planet Zoo. Uh, so if you have any tips. By all means, let me know. Now, just a, a really quick as well, uh, some of the comments that came through uh, on the last build, uh, one of the ideas that was really cool, and I didn't even know to think about this, was to uh, change the color of our donation bins. And I found a color scheme uh, pretty much right off the bat that I'm really happy, and that kind of uh, fits with this. So there's going to be a lot of off work, off camera um, jobs where I'm going to really focus on just updating the color schemes within the within this zoo. Now, just one last thing really wanted to kind of talk about was the uh, the foliage that we have going on outside of the, the zoo uh, exhibits. And I, initially, I had an idea of using uh, mulch to kind of cover the ground because you can't really have a whole lot of plants on the desert ground uh, and then work with it that way. But in hindsight, and after doing a lot of soul searching, I don't know if I actually like that idea. If you were to think about going to a zoo at an oasis, you wouldn't really see a lot of mulch everywhere. You'd see it in some places, but a lot of it would be focused on a rock work and utilizing those uh, those bushes that would exist in that in the in the natural desert habitat or uh, biome. Sorry, uh, that uh, that we would work with. So you know, in hindsight, definitely want to kind of focus on maybe moving more towards that. Now, I don't know if I'm going to go back and kind of clean everything up, but hey, uh, it's definitely room for uh, for improvement. Uh, you're going to notice um, the other. Thing Thing is that in our last build we didn't build our gift shop just yet and that's gonna be something I'm gonna circle back with everybody and rebuild together I'm gonna to do another build because I've never built an interior gift shop and I have so many ideas and I don't even know if I can actually do it or not and that's my goal I'm gonna really focus on that but that's all I wanted to say today uh, if you have any uh, feedback please feel free to share it I'm always here and I'm always willing to listen and uh, I'm trying to respond to every comment that I can get uh, of course if you want to subscribe that lets me know I'm doing a really good job and I would really appreciate it uh, and you know no no, no harm no foul if you don't want to that's cool uh, and lastly uh, we, I mentioned earlier we do have a discord and if you want to join that would be really awesome it just you know kind of gives us the opportunity to interact in a bit of different way if you're a really big planet zoo builder by all means join uh, right now a lot of it is just about sharing our builds getting ideas and feedback on how we can improve uh, and if you want to be part of that community by all means uh, feel free to join uh, otherwise ciao for now everybody <laughs>